It was now May 7th and we went back with the medics and the factory building was pointed out to me and I approached it by Jeep and got out and saw these walking skeletons scurrying back and forth to a, to a water pump that was in the center of the yard in front of the factory. And, um, and they, I mean, they, I had never seen any, any, anything as bad as that. And over on the other side near the, of the yard, uh, near the entrance to the building, I saw one young woman standing and I decided to approach her. And I went up to her and asked her what her companions and, and how they all were. And we exchanged some words in German. And, uh, and I asked her, you know, whether, where they had been. I, I, and she told me that they had uh, been on a death march since uh, more, w with some stops w since January of, of, of that year. And I asked her to take me inside and let me see the others. And uh, so we went inside. And of course, um, it's nearly impossible to describe the scene that I found inside uh, with all these uh, women scattered on the floor uh, in, in, in various stages of, uh, of illness and uh, some of them obviously quite close to death and uh, in, in rags uh, and without blankets or uh, quite obviously without food. And uh, uh, it, it, it was something that uh, one never, never can forget. And I talked to some of those women. One of them was pointed out to me later, was a former university professor from Prague, uh, still addressed me in English. And when I tried to say some words of comfort, she said, oh, I'm sorry, it's too, too late, too late for me.